Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. There's a practice question out there from the AMC that tests you on your understanding of signal sequences. And I get asked about that question all the time as a tutor. My hope is that if you understand what I teach in this video, you're going to get that question right. So, what is a signal sequence? Sometimes, when mRNA is being translated, the first segment of amino acids are called the signal sequence. In this image, it would be these amino acids right here depicted in red. This signal sequence will then attract what is known as a signal recognition protein. And the signal recognition protein will bind to the signal sequence and draw it over to a channel in the ER lumen, the endoplasmic reticulum. This will allow that protein to be translated right into the endoplasmic reticulum where it will get packaged up and sent out of the cell. Therefore, to summarize the purpose of the signal sequence, I would say that the signal sequence tells the protein, you don't belong here. You need to get out of the cell, whether it's going to the cell membrane or whether it's going completely outside of the cell, the signal sequence says, get out of here. One important thing to note is that after this protein is finished being translated into the ER lumen, this little signal sequence will get clipped off. It will not be part of the final protein product. For this reason, if you're ever asked a practice question about a fully functional protein having a signal sequence, you should know that it does not have a signal sequence because it was cut off right after it was finished being produced. With that understanding in mind, let's take a second look at our practice question. Proteins that travel from the RER, rough endoplasmic reticulum, to the cell membrane or extracellular space follow the secretory pathway. A protein is told to follow this pathway due to the attachment of what is called a blank to its blank, what is called a signal sequence to its protein, right? It's that first sequence of amino acids on a protein. For this reason, answer choice B is the correct answer here. If you enjoyed this question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.